Hey guys, Anthony of the Rag Company, and in today's video, we are introducing the new IKE Foam Pro 12. Let's jump into it. So the IK Foam Pro 12 has been out for a few years now. The predecessor to this was the IK Foam 9, and the 12 had a huge improvement over the 9. Not only did they make it bigger and better, but they also added a Schrader valve so you could use an air compressor to save your arms from pumping. Now to give you a quick refresher on what comes in this box, we are gonna be doing an unboxing and an assembly so you have an idea of what you're getting into. So tearing this open here, opening this up, you're gonna be pulling out our IK Foam Pro 12. Look at the size of this big boy. Just imagine all that power once we hook up that compressor. And then also inside here, we're gonna be pulling out our wet and dry attachments. This is going to change the viscosity of the foam. So currently we have the standard uh, foam attachment in here, the gray tip, but then the orange is going to be your wet tip and then the green is going to be your dry tip. So we're gonna set that down and you're also gonna come with some extra filters in there. We have our wand so we can cast some wicked foam spells. And then we have our high quality handle here with the metal trigger. And last but not least, we have our angled nozzle that already comes with a pre-installed foam filter. We have our chemical identification card, and then we also have our Schrader valve attachment. So from here, what we're gonna be doing is assembling this completely so you have an idea on what to do once you get your eFoam Pro 12 kit. So let's jump into that. All right, so as far as the assembly goes, we're gonna start with the Schrader valve first. So twisting this around, we are gonna be removing this four millimeter plug here. We're gonna take our key, twist this thing off, and we are going to set this thing aside. You can put this in a safe place because down the road, if you don't wanna have the Schrader valve on there and you wanna go back to our normal hand pump sprayer, you're gonna wanna reinstall this. So put this in a nice safe spot. Then from here, we're gonna reach into our bag of tricks and pull out our Schrader valve. We're gonna take off the nipple here at the end, and then what I like to do for this is just go hand tight, meaning that you can use a tool, but you are putting metal onto plastic and you really don't have to crank it down. So I'm gonna go hand tight on here, drop it, pick it up, and twist this thing on, and it does have a gasket on there, so it will provide a nice seal. So twist that on completely, and there we go. Another step closer. Now we have to figure out the hose situation, and I got a lot of hose. So we're gonna take our hose and attach it to the sprayer itself. So we're gonna twist this thing around, grab this. It's kind of awkward to deal with at first, but once the hose gets broken in, it's much more easy to manage. So twisting that on like that, getting it hand tight, and no, you do not need any Teflon tape. That is not needed. There's plenty of gaskets on this thing to keep it from leaking. So get it hand tight, take our other end of this, and we are going to be attaching this to our trigger. So take that, twist this on. Again, no Teflon. Twist this on all the way. Get it to where it's nice and tight. And I like to have it to where the trigger's facing downward. You can also have it facing upward, depending on the orientation that you like. So from here, we're gonna take our wand, spin this thing on, crank that down, slide, and grab our nozzle here at the end. So the nozzle does come with a pre-installed filter. I think I've said that before, but you're also gonna get some extra filters in here. You're gonna get, uh, I think it's 10 filters total. So again, there is one already installed. Take this, line that up, all right, and then twist that on and then you wanna line it up to how you are gonna be using it. So I like to have my trigger facing downward and that feels pretty comfortable to me. And you can also adjust your pattern or the direction of the spray. So you can have it go from horizontal to vertical depending on which way that red tip is facing. So retighten that down and I'm happy with it sitting right there. All right, and lastly, we have the cherry on top which is gonna be our product ID card. Now I think in today's video, we're gonna be foaming up some Sierra Gloss snow because I think it's gonna put on a good show. All right, that's enough of the bad jokes. 
let's move on to the battery compressor. All right, so the other piece of the puzzle here is going to be the new IKE battery compressor, which makes this an eFoam Pro 12. Now, what if you already have an IK Foam Pro 12? Do you have to buy the whole thing just to get the compressor? And the answer is no. You can buy the compressor a la carte, which is going to turn your normal Foam Pro 12 into an eFoam Pro 12. An evolution of the foamer is literally just one purchase away here. So you can pick this up separately at theragcompany.com, attach it to your foamer, and you are ready to go and ready to foam for as long as your heart desires, or as long until the battery runs out. So we're going to take the battery kit that came with our eFoam Pro 12 right here and unbox everything. So opening this thing up, we are going to get our main compressor. So the compressor here is going to be able to house the battery itself. You go ahead and pull up on this compartment here, the battery gets stored inside there. Take this back, slide that back down, and you're ready to rock and roll. Now over here off to the side, we do have our on and off switch. Now, I remember when we got it last year at TRCMA in 2022, and we showed the entire crew and everybody was like, that's pretty cool, but what if it gets water on it? Well, this compressor container compartment here is actually relatively water resistant, which is fantastic, and so, we really haven't had any issues. And honestly, it's been impressing us for the last nine months, so I'm really excited that you guys get to try it for yourself. So setting that down right here, we do have our compressor cable here that's going to go into the Schrader valve, and then we do have our charger here for the battery that is, where is that thing? Now, oh, there we go. That makes sense. All right, so now that we got that sorted, this is going to be the battery pack here. So taking a look here, we can actually check to see how charged it is. We are sitting at two out of three bars, which is quite impressive. It only lost one bar coming from Spain. That's a quality product right there. So taking this, we're going to install it into the compressor itself. This is going to slide in over the top and lock in nice and tightly. Taking our cover here, we're gonna go over the top, slide this in, find the ridge, and there we go. And then let's go and give it a test. Does it work? It works. All right, so as far as the attachment goes, we're gonna go ahead and take out our wand here, set this off to the side, and then take our compressor. Now here on the back side of the IK Foam Pro 12, you're gonna see a little notch here. Fortunately, there's also a notch on the back here, which makes this pretty easy for us. So undo the straps, make sure everything's ready to go. We're gonna line this up, find where it locks in place, and there we go. Taking our strap, we're gonna wrap it around from the top, find our little loophole here, crank this down, make sure it's nice and taut, and then guide it along on that Velcro. I do like the branding here that they put on that. It's just a, a small touch, but it just makes it feel more official. And then we have one more strap here on the bottom. Give it a hug. Tighten that down. Make sure it's nice and taut. And voila. So we have our battery on here, but we have one piece of the puzzle left, which is going to be our Schrader valve hose. So for this, I like to tilt it onto its side kind of give you guys an angle here, and then come down from the top, give it a nice twist, and again, just going hand tight on this, you do not need any Teflon. I keep saying that, but I just can't emphasize enough, we do not need Teflon. All right, from here, coming up to our Schrader valve, this is very much just like a old-fashioned bike pump. We're going to put it on over the top, and then cinch down the lock right there. And from here, we have a functioning IKE Foam Pro 12, so let's go ahead and fill this thing up with water, fill this thing up with some soap, and take it for a rip. Let's foam home. All right, so it's time to get this thing filled up. So what we're gonna do is remove the pump handle here, give it a twist, and start pulling that out. From here, we have uh, about four liters of water we're gonna be filling this thing up with. 
Now you can do the soap or water first, whatever you prefer, but just be prepared because if you do the soap first and you fill this thing up with a hose, it's gonna create some suds. So I like to just pour this in, another two liters of water. Perfect. And we're about at the, about, about about a third of the way full. Now here's the deal. You want to leave a lot of room for air, right? A lot of people when they buy these sprayers, well, any of the IK sprayers for that matter, uh, that are a pump pressure sprayer, they often overfill it, not leaving enough room for air, meaning that it actually lessens your spray time, right? Because you have to have that perfect ratio of air to liquid in order for things to work properly. Now, since this has a compressor attached to it, you can, in theory, add more liquid than you normally would because it's always gonna compensate for that and it's gonna get it up to the max pressure and then hit the automatic release valve on its own, saying that it's maxed out, and then you can continue to spray and it'll kick back on as needed. All right, so now it's time to add our soap and I'm gonna be using the Stiarna Gloss Snow in the new five liter size that we have at theragcompany.com along with the filler spout from Coach Kemi. So what we're gonna do here, turn this 180 degrees, flip this over and we're gonna fill up about 200 mils of soap. Check that out. And we're a little over that, but we'll just roll with it. Take this, pour this into our new foamer. Take this, slide this in. And then what I always like to do, regardless of the soap or APC or interior cleaner or even fallout remover that I'm using, give it a good shake. So grab this. Shake it up, and then we're gonna kick this on and let this fill up. All right, so with our IK eFoam Pro 12 fully pressurized, I thought I'd take a minute to talk about the battery life as well as the charging time. So this battery takes up to four hours for a full three bar charge. Now, as far as the runtime, in the last year that we've had the prototype, we've seen this last up to an hour in terms of overall runtime. So I would say about an hour of that compressor constantly running, which is pretty dang good considering that foaming a car with this thing should only take a couple of minutes. Now, one cool thing I wanna show you is that it automatically kicks on the second that pressure is released unless you flip off this switch. So for example here, I have the compressor on, I'm going to go to the release valve and I'm gonna release some pressure. Kicks back on, just as you would hope. And so the same thing goes for when you're spraying as well. You spray, it's going to kick on. So it's not uncommon for you to be foaming while this compressor is running. And honestly, it's not all that loud. All right, so that was a lot of buildup and a lot of education. Let's see if this thing can put on the show. So grabbing our wand here, starting from the top. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. Now, is this going to be foam cannon foam? No, but is this going to be portable foam that you can take anywhere with you? Yes. The compressor is kicked on. We're going through. We're adding lubrication to the surface. And let's see if I can make it all around this car. And there we go. Not too shabby for no hose and no pressure washer. 
So this is going to be plenty of foam to provide safe lubrication for your wash mitt. Now, can you foam an entire vehicle? Yes, I just proved that you can do that. How much liquid do I have left over? I still have quite a bit, a little over two and a half liters left in my foamer. So I could do this two, three, maybe even four more times depending on the size of the vehicle and I can lay it on thicker or thinner as it's needed. However, is soap probably the way to go with this foamer? Yeah, probably, it can be the way to go, but I think most people are gonna benefit from this with an all-purpose cleaner or a fallout remover. Like, I can't imagine not having to pump something up when I'm going through and spraying an APC on the lowers of a vehicle during the winter that we're currently in. I think it would be life-changing, and this, in fact, is worth not having to do that. Now, if I wanna go thicker, I can absolutely do that. I'm just gonna have to spray that area for longer. So, for example, here, Spraying this on, getting some of that to build up. Now, could I lay it on extremely thick like I would a foam cannon? Yes, I could. I would just have to hold the wand there for a little bit longer. Now, in today's video, we obviously use soap, but what are some other things that you can use in the IKE Foam Pro 12? You can use an APC, you can use a fallout remover, maybe you wanna go crazy and foam an interior, you'd put on the dry tip, throw in your favorite interior cleaner and dry the interior and then shampoo it if you wanna do it like that. There's a lot of different ways you can use this, but I think what we're probably gonna do the most is wheels here. We're probably gonna fill this up with some magic wheel cleaner or one of our other favorites such as Brake Buster and foam wheels, tires, undercarriages, and things like that. Now, during the winter time, I can see this being an absolute necessity for shops, especially when it comes to spraying APCs with the lowers of the car getting filled with all sorts of muck and dirt and salt and all of that. So this is definitely gonna save a lot of time and keep your arms from getting sore from all that pumping. Now, at the end of the day, is this still a pump sprayer? Yes, if you wanna take off this E-Pack and pump it, you can do that. Or if you wanna grab your standard air compressor, you can grab that hose and fill it up on the Schrader valve, and there you go. This thing reaches a max PSI of four bars, and then the release valve will pop up. But again, with this E-Pack on here, it's going to continuously pump air into there so you can continue foaming. So hopefully you guys learned something new today. Hopefully you guys are just as impressed with the IKE Foam Pro 12 as I am. Give it a shot, see how you like it. Upgrade your current IK Foam Pro 12 or just purchase the big boy and jump straight into foaming. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. And as always, if you guys like this kind of content, please make sure to give us a big thumbs up. Subscribe down below for more and stay tuned for more videos right here at The Rat Company.